Hey folks, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt Kuda, and today we're gonna talk about cleaning your camera. And this is a topic that so many people have so much to say about. And honestly, um, there's no hard and fast rules, but there are a few that I'll talk about as I go. In the first section here, we're gonna talk about cleaning the camera body. <clears throat> camera bodies, and we're talking about it every six months to an annual cleaning here. This is going to be a more advanced cleaning. Um, the first thing I will do is I will take off the uh, eyepiece. Okay. And I'm going to look in here. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've got some stuff going on here. I've got some spots and some dust up in there accumulating. Um, I'm going to check that my uh, articulation of the of the uh, rear viewfinder is LCD is working properly. Um, I'm going to, you know, kind of test the buttons and just make sure that everything is, there's no binding in the buttons or anything weird like that. Um, I'm going to basically just manually just kind of at a glance uh, look at what's going on here. I'm going to check the doors look in there for any kind of crud that might be accumulating in there. Um, this is always a fun, fun part. We don't have long fingernails. Okay. Look in there, look down in with a good light as I have here, see what's going on. Um, and just check for anything really bad in there. Now I'm going to leave all these doors open and you're going to see why in a second. As I go, I want to leave all these doors open. <clears throat> I'm going to look in here. You shouldn't see a lot of gunk in here in where your SD cards go. Um, that's very unusual to have weird crap in there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, just generally check everything over and just look. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Um, this is a VSGO imp air blower. And I got turned on to these. Um, actually by Tony Northrup, um, it has a little filter in here that keeps bad stuff from getting down into your, uh, blower and, uh, putting more dust onto your sensors and so forth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rocket blower and I'm just going to blow any surface dust that I can find that might be just easily gotten rid of, you know? Um, this is a non-invasive way to actually get junk out of your camera. Get down in here, get into these, uh, connectors, just make sure there's nothing in there. And, uh, that's kind of the, the first thing that I will do. <clears throat> okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about, okay, what about cleaning the exterior of your body? Now, this is where people get all bent out of shape. Here's the thing. Lens Rentals uh, is a good company that I go by. One, because they're reputable in the industry. And two, because Sony trusts them and they are the uh, vendor that they have chosen for their professional services. Um, so, what I will do next is I'll get this bottle of isopropyl alcohol. This is a 70% mixture of isopropyl alcohol. So, um, you can, you know, you can use various things. Some people will use a 60% uh, isopropyl, whatever, whatever works for you. I have these swabs that come in various sizes. So you've got this wide one, which is good for, you know, doing, you know, bigger areas like this or, You've got this tiny one here that'll get down into like little crevices, like along, like along your, uh, view, your viewfinder and so forth. Now, any kind of surfaces that have, um, a window, an LCD or anything like that, you don't want to apply alcohol ever directly on it. So you don't want to spray alcohol all over your, your gear, for example. If you do need some alcohol, you got a stubborn spot or two, you know, get your, um, get your swab, put a little alcohol on it and 
start looking for those areas that are really bad, all right? So maybe you want to get around here. Maybe you want to get around kind of the outside of this. It never gets any attention. Um, down in these crevices. Just be careful because although alcohol evaporates quite rapidly, you could still get stuff, you know, into places it shouldn't go. Um, your manufacturer may say that your camera is waterproof. There is not one camera that's been made that is completely waterproof. I can tell you that right now. All right, so just, you know, go around there, get all that junk out of there. You can see, I don't know if you can see it or not here, but there's a lot of dirt coming off there. Um, as a matter of fact, another thing that I will do is I'll put a little bit of alcohol on a, a soft cloth like this, just a little dot, and I'll just go around the grip here and just put that in there and kind of clean the outside of this thing. Um, <clears throat> the point is, don't overdo it. Don't go crazy here. Don't scrub hard. You know, these. this is sensitive electronic equipment. It is not designed to be scrubbed hard, okay? But sometimes it needs it, right? And I want to get these little weird things out of here. So I'm going to get right down in there with this little tiny swab. And <clears throat> you'll also see that there are sensors here for when you stick this to your eye. And those need all that stuff needs to be cleaned. Um, sometimes you need to get a little more uh, alcohol on there. Okay. And um, I need to clean those sensors. I got a little too much alcohol on there that time. I, I don't recommend that much alcohol. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to use this and wipe it down there a little bit and then go in there. Kind of clean that piece of glass off there. Look how much that's shining now. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's really shining down in there. <clears throat> you can do this on your rear screen with with very little alcohol on there just to get junk off. You can use this, of course. This is just a <clears throat> microfiber cloth uh, to clean that up. You know, you can inspect here. You can see where there's some braze, brazing, I guess they call it, um, along here where the, but that's, that's cosmetic damage. It's not gonna hurt anything on the magnesium body. Close these back up. <clears throat> And you basically have a cleaned exterior of your camera. Now, <clears throat> here's the fun part. And this is something that you may not want to try yourself. Um, if you prefer, you could send it off to, you know, KEH or the manufacturer to do this part. Um, I am not telling you to do this. This is something that I do when I know I've got a problem and only when I know I've got a problem. And that is cleaning the sensor. Cleaning the sensor is a delicate process and it begins this way. The Sony A9, you turn your camera on and most cameras are this way. This could, this could be a Canon camera. It doesn't have to be an A9, <clears throat> a Sony A9. You go to your menu, you find the cleaning mode. As you can see there, I've done the clean mode, enter. It makes that funny noise. It says auto cleaning is finished. Turn off the power, and it says you can also clean the image sensor manually if necessary. Okay. So the first thing I will do is I'll make sure the camera's off, which it is. Remove the cover, body cover. You're going to visually inspect the sensor, and I have a pair of like 2X. Um, reading glasses on which really helps and that's just for basic dust or or specifically any large foreign bodies i don't see any in there 
<clears throat> so now I'll take this and gently, all right, for the purposes of this, I'm gonna do, do it with the camera upside down like this. You really shouldn't do it upside down, but just for the sake of demonstration, you know, I'm gonna do it this way. Um, I don't recommend that you do it this way. I recommend that you hold it maybe like this and clean it out, or maybe even like this. And let that, let gravity work for you. <clears throat> but for the purposes of this demo, we're just gonna do it this way, okay? So you wanna gently blow out that entire sensor area, getting as much as you can off of there. And here's the biggest reason. Yes, we can control sensor dust in post-production, but it's very difficult in video production to control, control dust. And so I, I really like a clean sensor. And there is a goober in here on this sensor that regular cleaning is not going to help. So next I wanna show you how I go about cleaning the sensor itself. Okay, so now we've got this open, we're ready to do a sensor cleaning. I have a sensor swab here. I use the brand of uh, PSI uh, sensor swab, ultra guaranteed safe. Comes in a pack of uh, 12 sensors for the, I mean 12, uh, 12 swabs. And then I use this product, oops, called V-Dust. Now I don't have anything in this vial right now. It's made in Canada. Now what you wanna do is you wanna, I don't wanna get over my camera, but you wanna take your corner and just put a tiny bit on there on that corner and then put a tiny bit on that corner. And then you wanna go in here to your sensor and very gently, you're going to sweep the sensor that way, pick it up, sweep the sensor that way, and you're done. That's all there is to clean the sensor. Then I usually give it a quick thing like that, close it back up, and that is how you clean, well, if I can get this thing on here, that is how you clean a sensor body. I mean, a sensor body. That is how you clean a camera body. Um, <clears throat> you know, put this back on, check it for functional quality after you're done. Everything appears to be working. Not getting any error messages, that's always good. And you're done, you're pretty much done. I mean, yes, you can, and don't ever use this. Don't ever use this again. When you use one of these sensor swabs, you throw it away. You can use it to clean the outside of your camera when you're done if you want to, and, and that's something I do do, right? And I'll, I'll do it right now, actually. Put a little alcohol on that thing, and you know, you can kind of use that to clean a little bit with it too, and not harm anything. And it can really make your camera look nice. I mean, you don't have to be, like there's barely any alcohol on this at all. We don't want, anything that's going to get into the crevices of glass or sensors or anything like that. You know, you're, this is literally a cosmetic cleaning. But look at that, you can see the, the gunk that was under there where I just cleaned up under that right there. It's amazing what accumulates on these cameras after, you know, six months of service. Um, if you're, if, you know, if you're a hardworking pro or hardworking semi-pro like I am, you can really put some mileage on these cameras in a hurry. But that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed how to clean your camera. In the next segment, we're going to talk about the next video. We're going to talk about how to clean your lenses.